circa 63 AD. Imagine a cold, dark cell of a Roman prison. After days of agonizing torture, the prison guards open the cell door and lead the starved prisoner to his execution. This was the life, last day of St. Peter's life. As the guards dragged him to his execution, thousands of Romans screamed and slid in his direction. The only comfort St. Peter felt was the knowledge he would be with his Lord this day in paradise. Further being pushed to his execution, Peter's eyes fell upon the cross, the same cross as Jesus Christ was crucified on some 30 years prior. At this moment, he turned to his captors and asked for one final request. Having done extensive research on the, the life and death of St. Peter, I have found that many historians and biblical scholars agree upon one thing, that St. Peter was crucified upside down. I have been a Christian for over 20 years, and the story of St. Peter has always fascinated me. Today I will discuss the significance of St. Peter's death and how it changed Roman, the Roman Empire and eventually all of Western civilization. Peter was a devout follower of Jesus, who was believed to be the Son of God by many Christians around the world. But his beliefs were not the only reason for his execution. According to Psy Q 2001, St. Peter founded the first Christian church in Rome with the help of St. Paul. They openly preached the gospel, attempting to convert Romans to Christianity. Emperor Nero was very threatened by the uprising of Christians and sentenced him to death. It is in the Acts of Peter, the second century, that we find the story of Peter being crucified upside down, supposedly at his own request, because he was, quote, unworthy to die in the same manner as my Lord, end quote. His death caused thousands to convert to Christianity, which eventually led to the Roman acceptance. Peter's devotion to his beliefs was nearly unmatched in modern history. He proclaimed his faith all the way until his death. According to the Fox's Book of Martyrs in 1563, having been warned of his execution, Peter tried to flee Rome. However, Jesus appeared to him at the city gates, and Jesus asked, Lord, whither dost thou go? And Jesus said, I am come again to be crucified. Peter perceived this appearance as Lord was telling him to not run but to face his cross. It was under Jimmy Carter's tenure where the Iranians were actually stormed the embassy. That's what I couldn't remember. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. <laughs> All right, we'd like to his brother selling his own brand of beer. <laughs> 